Good afternoon, Fantasy Football Inquirers, and welcome back to 105.5 The Chess. Well, we are here for another week of Roundup, and it comes after uh, some highly competitive games, uh, some COVID issues, uh, a lot of points being scored, and a lot of spoon feeding being thrown out, so... We're just going to jump right into it and look at our highlighted match of the game, highlight match last week. And with that, we're going to go flip it right to the Clay versus Gary game. Um, so as you know, this was our highlighted match. Gary coming in 3-0. Clay had the projected outscoring. Uh, this was one of the games that was affected by COVID-19. So we had to watch out for that, make sure that uh, all the players are going to be uh, well he taken care of, but through great management and, and um, quick reactions, uh, we was able to do so, and we're going to be looking at doing that the rest of the, the rest of the time in here at Fantasy. But uh, overall, the, the spoon feeding of Gary was just too much. Uh, it was Gary 142.6 to Clay's 119.6. Um, you know, Clay had a pretty good, pretty good uh, fight at it, but again, you know, when the spoon is cooking, what can you do? When the spoon's hot, I mean, you know, what can you do? Um, going into further into the week, we only had one player under 100, and we're going to get to him later. Don't you worry about that. Don't you worry. But we will have breaking news. Zach Calder no longer knows Owen. No longer knows Owen. Zach Calder has his first win of the week, which means there are no longer – any winless teams. Amazing. Uh, still one only undefeated team, and that, again, is Gary Spoon Feeding. Uh, it's amazing. And, um, you know, and, and you know, like I said, yeah, there's a lot lost for words here. Uh, so let's look into the high and the low of the week. Uh, so we had the high with Alex at 152.7. Uh, again, Spoon Feeding. And, you know, a lot of people are going to come back to me and say, well, what about Joe Mixon? He did really well. You know, the way I can describe Joe Mixon as, is like getting in a car wreck. You know, you can be a really safe driver. You can be perfectly careful. But once ever, every seven years or so, you're going to get in a wreck. I mean, you're just going to get in a wreck. It's going to happen. Lightning hits. You get in a car wreck. You get your speeding ticket. Just because it happens once doesn't mean it's, it's a – I mean, he's a good player or anything – and, you know, that's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's an anomaly, you know, and, and that's all I have to say about that. But needless to say, the high, the, like I said, this week was 152.7 to Alex. Um, that does not hit our all-time high, which is still held by a hundred by golf at 177.8. Or if you count the curve that we gave Alex last week for Joe Mixon at 205, then that's the all-time high. And the low this week, and like I said, a measly low, was 81.2 to gulp. Yuck. I might vomit. Um, surprisingly enough, this doesn't even hold the lowest. The lowest all time is still Alex at 72.9 because he has Jeff Nixon. <laughs> Trash. Um, so now, you know, we, we're seeing if Alex – has the record for the all-time low, and with the curve, has the record for the all-time high. It's amazing. It's amazing. It is amazing. Um, you know, and, and we're going to – I like to be unbiased in this, um, but we just need to establish some new rules, some new rules that were formed over, over the week, and, and this is in light of the COVID. Um, so, again, you know, as we explained, if, you, if there is a COVID game and it looks like it's going to be played Monday – We'll substitute, state who you wanted to play with, and so on, and move forward. Um, it's also illegal for Jesus wide receivers to get a point. One. So I am effectively telling you all right now that uh, there won't be a single wide receiver that's on my team now that's going to be on my team tomorrow. Look at that. 
Look at that. You, have, you love to see it. Uh, another rule is you can't make a trade with anybody unless your name's Andrew because everybody else just decides to grow a brain unless your name's Andrew. Um, so that's another rule. Uh, just, you know, FYI for all you people out there that, uh, you know, love to uh, be vultures and try to finesse people and, you know, try to cyber bully your way into getting people and, and actually want to develop a brain against formidable people that actually bring you good opportunities. So, you know, wage to you. Uh, and with that, you know, we're going to jump into our stat of the week. Did you know that Christian McCaffrey totaled 46.3 points in the two games he played while Joe Mixon has had to take four games to surmount that? A man on IR is only 10 points behind somebody that is reportedly a top 10 draft pick. Stat of the week right there. Stat of the week. Did you also know that Jesus' record has been better than Gary's the past two years? Stat of the week. Stat of the week. Now, looking into next week, and this is our highly anticipated highlighted match. Uh, and I know a lot of people want to have this highlighted match. I know they, they, you know, they work really hard to make sure that we're going to include them. Um, but this one actually sees a newcomer. Uh, so we do have Skeet at uh, 106.3. Uh, and, and like I said, he's been part of a highlighted match already. But we're going to bring him back because he's playing new highlighted match comer, Evan, who on the record of this broadcast has been reported as trash, which he is. And uh, Evan is actually projected to lose this by uh, about four, four or five points. He's It's 106.3 projection to 101.5. Uh, again, you know, really close matchup here. Uh, there's going to be a lot of playoff implications. Both of these guys are in the hunt right now. Um, so we're going to look at Skeet and Evan. Uh, also, we are trying to get uh, our interview last week's highlighted match. Um, uh, I, uh, well, two weeks ago, highlight match between Matt Galt and Skeet. Uh, and then, like I said, this week, we will be looking at putting uh, another interview out for Clay and Gary moving into next week. Um, so again, you know, you know, I encourage everyone again, make sure your name's not Andrew. You know, if, if your name's not Andrew, you're not going to get trades. You're not going to get stupid trades. I'm sorry. It's just the, the rules of this league. Uh, people think they're, they're better than what they are for some unbeknownst reason. Um, what can you do? Uh, you know, and, and I'll leave everyone with this little tidbit. Uh, so I am going to be on vacation um, starting tomorrow. I'm going to upload this video uh, Tuesday, and then I'm going to try to get uh, the Wednesday and maybe the Friday rant um, as well. But I will be on vacation, so maybe some delays there. Uh, but we are going to be back next week, regardless for our, our you know, roundup. Um, and uh, yeah, other than that, you know, like I said, uh, keynotes here, Joe Mixon's trash. Uh, Gary Wage, it's not going to last, buddy. It's not going to last. I hate to break it to you. Um, Alex, I mean, again, Joe Mixon's not good, dude. He's not. I mean, goodness gracious. Latavius Murray's a backup running back, and he got half the points that he has had all year in one game. I mean, goodness. But regardless, be sure to follow us on our Twitter and our Instagram. Uh, you know, Twitter, Gary underscore your time is up. That's Gary underscore your time is up. Uh, Instagram would be Alex underscore Joe Mixon trash still. I mean, you know, it, it, it is. It's true. It is true. Thank you again for turning into 105.5 The Chess. I am Jesus Go Forth. I hope you all have a great week. Be sure to pick up waivers. Um, check anything that you need to do on that aspect of the fantasy football, and we'll catch back up with you next week.